Hi, I'm Laura and welcome to Heart Driven Tarot for this week's lesson in the cards of the tarot. We're picking up from months ago, I apologize for that, but I've been revamping things, revamping my life, made a major move to Charleston, South Carolina. It's taken me two and a half months to be candid, to fully get settled in my apartment. And even today, just starting up these videos again, it took me a while to set up my room for it, etc., etc. But I won't bore you with those details. <clears throat> we'll hop right in to a discussion of the Knight of Wands, picking up from the, the Page of Wands in the last lesson that I did. Now in the Knight of Wands, what really jumps out about this image is that movement. And of course, the wands represent fire energy, that passion and the purpose, and the wands represent purpose. And what we see here is a relatively young man, and he's galloping forth with all the vigor and muster he has, it seems, charging forth, galloping on his horse forward. And it suggests a lot of passion, drive, energy, and fervor. Now this can be good when it's upright and the positive interpretation of the card is that this person is a dynamo of energy. He's got a lot of energy and he's moving forward, forward with a lot of vigor. And if this pops up in a reading, it suggests that depending on the question you ask of, her, of course and where it is in the spread, it's saying that there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of fervor for a particular project or a person, if it's about relationships, etc. This, this card is often associated with an individual, masculine energy, who has perhaps a lot of sexual energy. It has that association as well. What's important to look at here, what always jumps out, are the red colors. You've got the, the red, almost the red, orangey horse. The knight has red hair. There are red plumes that almost look like fire coming out of his helmet. The whole sense of that fire energy is, through, is popping up throughout this image. Also, if we look, he's out in the desert, so you get the image, you know, the sense of the desert's hot, that dry, hot, hot that hot temperature. That's evident in this image. And what are some of the negative associations with this card? Well, he's galloping forth, but his, well, there's that sense of disharmony because the horse looks a little bit as if he's resisting. So he's not in total sync with the knight. It could be a situation which is a little bit out of control or the person's coming on too strong or the knight is impatient and erratic reckless. That's what it could represent as well. So there's all that. But the positive side is a lot of zeal and energy and passion. Now if the card is reversed and pops up in a reading reverse, this could suggest that, oh, there's a slowdown or there's not as much energy as is needed for a particular situation. There's perhaps a lack of passion, a lack of of purpose or it's weaker than normal that could be the particular message coming from this knight of wands if if it's reversed let me see if there's anything else i don't want you to miss but yes and again if it's reversed it's like the energy is slowed way down or it's a wild ride that's happening internally to a person or there's the person is putting restraint on themselves, saying, whoa, I can't move this fast, or you know, I can't, I've got to slow down and just get things under control. They've gotten out of control. But overall, in general, the Knight of Wands represents kind of that youthful zeal, somewhat like the page, but even perhaps a bit stronger, more forceful, because he's moving forward at such a clip and just a lot of that passionate drive that is evident in this image. Now, this, the particular music selection that came up for me today as I was thinking through this lesson was the William Tell Overture. Because for me, personally, that always, I just felt when I listened to it, 
growing up as a child and a teenager, I thought of someone galloping on a horse. So that's what came to me today. I hope this reading has been helpful for you, or this lesson rather has been helpful for you. Also, if you've not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And next week, we will discuss the Queen of Wands and what she's all about, Woman of Fire. Until next time, remember, illumine your mind, inspire your life with tarot.